slide one students good day to all of you you are welcome to the model 5 lecture of the use of library course tagged gsp 1202 the lecture takes you through basic definitions of listening and not taking skills of learning it also enlightens you with theoretical aspects principles steps and strategies concerning the skills of listening and not taking in the learning process. I am Dr. Isa Muhammad Inwa, serving as a facilitator in the course. Slide 1. Students, good day to all of you. You are welcome to the Model 5 lecture of the use of library course tagged GSP 1202. The lecture takes you through basic definitions of listening and not taking skills of learning. It also enlightens you with theoretical aspects, principles, steps, and strategies concerning the skills of listening and not taking in the learning process. I am Dr. Isa Muhammad Inwa, serving as a facilitator in the course. Slide 2. Listening is simply referred to as the ability to identify and understand what others are saying. Listening, which happens through apprehension of sound through the ears or audio in a bracket, uh, is very important to learning. This is because, aside from its use in day-to-day -day communication, students also are able to understand what they are taught through listening uh, at the teaching or lecture or lecturing. Slide 2. Listening is simply referred to as the ability to identify and understand what others are saying. Listening, which happens through apprehension of sound through the ears, or audio in a bracket uh, is very important to learning. This is because, aside from its use in day-to-day -day communication, students also are able to understand what they are taught through listening uh, at the teaching or lecture or lecturing. Slide 3. Scholars of observe that listening consists of two parts, which are physiological in nature and B, psychological in nature. Bromwell, 2006, says that effective, listener, effective listeners are open-minded and interested in a wide variety of subjects. Pada and Deborah, 1997, identified some 13 characteristics of competent and, and effective listeners. Slide 4. It's a vital skill of learning process, particularly in verbal communication. Listening is very central to communication for without listening, the perception or reception and understanding of messages 
would be impossible. This would lead to the breakdown of communication. It will also lead to misunderstanding. Slide 5. Another salient advantage of effective listening for students is that they ought to learn the skills of listening because teaching and learning are conducted through oral and oral, that is to say through verbal and audio interactions with lecturers. Slide 6. Some characteristics of effective listener as identified by scholars Paddy and Deborah 1997 include number one, a competent listener uh, should be able to use his eye contact appropriately. Number two, he should be attentive and alert to a speaker's verbal and nonverbal behavior. Number three, he is patient and does not interrupt, waiting for the speaker to finish first. Number four, he is responsive using verbal and nonverbal expressions. Number six, he asks questions in a non-threatening tone. Slide 7, continuation of characteristics of effective listener. Number 7, he paraphrases, restates, or summarizes what the speaker says. Number 8, he provides constructive verbal and nonverbal feedback. Number 9, he is emphatic. He makes an effort to understand the speaker. Number 10, he demonstrates interest in the speaker. Number 11, he demonstrates caring attitude and is willing to listen. Number 12, he does not criticize, meaning he is non-judgmental. Number 13, he is open-minded.
Slide 8. Since in everything we do, we have some reasons for doing th them or for doing it, listening in this model is described as the mixture of hearing and paying attention to some sounds. Since there is reason for whatever we do, the reasons for listening to sounds communications differ from one reason to the other. These reasons are the objectives of one's listening to particular sound messages. Slide 9. Other objectives of listening include understanding the speaker, developing relationship with the speaker, retaining the information uh, pertaining what he said, then getting knowledge out of what he said, then participating in the communication process. Further, Klein 1996 identifies uh, listening processes in five steps. Thus, number one, receiving. Number two, attending. Number three, interpreting or understanding. Number four, responding. Number five, remembering. Slide 10, Types of Listening. Some of the types of listening identified by scholars are informational listening, where the primary concern of the listener is to understand the message. Number two is appreciative listening, whose basic goal is to appreciate the content of the message. Number three is critical also called analytical or evaluative listening, is done to evaluate, criticize past judgment, form an opinion or make a decision on what someone else has said. Number four type of listening is discriminative listening. Slide 11. Slide 11 takes us to the second portion of this lecture, which is not taken. What is not taken? Not taken is referred to as writing down the relevant piece of information or points from a speech or a written document. Notes can be taken for so many reasons depending on the purpose of taking them. In academic context, not taken is mainly done for two purposes, i.e. examination and research. Although not taken occurs by using written materials, students take notes mostly in the classes and in laboratories. Thank you.
Slide 12. Preparations of not taking. Before the lecture, students should, number one, review their previous lecture notes. Number two, check the course outline for the topics to be treated next and try to have an idea about the topic. Number three, complete outside reading related to the next lecture. Number four, complete a review any assignment or reading expected to be submitted or discussed in the next lecture. Slide 13, preparations of not taking during the lecture. The students should write down the title of the lecture, the name of the course, and the date. Number two, they should listen carefully to the introduction. Number three, they should try to write their notes in their own words and be brief. Number four, they should try to recognize the main ideas. Number five, they should write down what supports the main ideas. Number six, they should pay attention to the conclusion to ensure their understanding of the lecture. Number seven, they should ask questions about points they did not understand. Slide 14, preparation of taking notes after the lecture. Students should, number one, revise their notes as quickly as possible, preferably not long after the lecture. Number two, they should revise their lecture notes at least once a week. Slide 15, method of not taking, outline method. This is the method of not taking in which a student takes the note and then writes his or her notes in orderly form based on space indentation. A fully developed outline that includes numerous detail should follow the pattern as follows.
slide 14 slide 16 in this slide we are taking we are going to look at the pattern of not taking number one write one then indent and write a b indent one two then c indent one two type number two is write a indent one another indent small letter a and small letter b etc etc Slide 17. A scholar or scholars, Munsak, J. Dise, and E. Dise, 2003, page 47, write on five hours of not taking that are associated for students or they are essential for students to know them. Thus, number one, record during the lecture, write down legibly the main ideas as much as you can number two reduce summarize these ideas in your own words number three recite repeat over the ideas of the lecture in your own words that can be done that can be done by telling someone else about the lecture Number four is reflect. Think about what you have learned and how it relates to other ideas in the course. Number five, review. Spend some time to go through what you have learned. This has to be done as frequently as possible. Finally, slide 18. Use abbreviations and symbols for not taking. Abbreviations can be classified into common, discipline-specific, and personal abbreviations. They go or they are categorized as below. Number one, common abbreviations. Number two, discipline-specific abbreviations. Number three, personal abbreviations. slide 19 end thank you for listening and not taking